Hi, and welcome to BeachCast. My name's Adam Kolp. I'll be your host. Uh, today, we've got some really big news to share. So stick around and we'll get right on that. So those of you who have been paying attention uh, on Twitter today, you may already know there was a huge announcement around Zen Framework. But first, let me, let's take a look at this a little bit. So the thing is, contrary to what we see in a lot of blog posts these days, contrary to what a lot of people are spreading around, the PHP ecosystem is not getting smaller. PHP is not going away. It's not dying. It is actually gaining market share. Now, granted, there may be other technologies out there that are also gaining market share, but that doesn't mean PHP is necessarily getting smaller. It just means that uh, possibly PHP developers are starting to dabble in other technologies. Sometimes uh, PHP developers do use JavaScript um, and other technologies to do things. So that being said though, PHP is not going away, it's not getting smaller. Now, one of the key players in the PHP space for many years has been Zend Framework. Of course, Zend helped create the, the core of PHP, the, the engine running it, the Zend engine. And they also, many, many years ago, they started creating what was called the Zend Framework. It was a PHP framework, huge enterprise level, and not huge framework, but, but a very large enterprise framework that was used by many companies around the globe. Well, uh, the thing is, is uh, that framework over the many years it's been there, because it's been there, what, 14, 15 years, I don't know the exact number off the top of my head right now. However, it has been a very big framework for all that time. Uh, and as of the last two years, it's gained even more users. So it, while it had 100 million downloads uh, of the various packages that make up Zen Framework and, uh, and the other tools that make up the Zen Framework uh, stack, if you will, um, over the last two years, that 100 million has now become 400 million. So think about that for a minute. In the last two years, it has been downloaded three times more than the previous 12 years. That's huge. So Zen Framework has not died, it's not going away, much like PHP is not going away. It's actually growing, it's, become, it's gaining much more popularity, especially with uh, Expressive. Expressive is a great micro framework for use, uh, building middleware, for being used as middleware. It's great for building APIs. And, and these days, APIs is the way that most companies are going. So that being said, uh, there's a change now in Zen Framework, and this is going to affect not just Zen Framework, but all of the other uh, you know, properties, if you will, that make up the Zen, or that are also under Zen Framework, like Expressive and Apagility. Those are also going to be impacted by this to a degree. So the, the news is Zend Framework is now moving and rebranding. It is going to be uh, it is going to be under the Lemonis project, and that is going to be part of the Linux Foundation. Now, up until this point, Zend Framework has been solely uh, solely supported, solely influenced by Zend Technologies, and then later by uh, Rogue Wave Software after Rogue Wave acquired Zend. Um, and they, they, you know, they've been kind of overseeing it for the last couple of years, few years. Uh, but now it's time for it to move on. It's, it needs to continue growing. It needs a little bit different support. Uh, Zen Framework is going to move as an open source project under the Linux Foundation, and it's going to rebrand as Laminus. So it's going to be the Laminus project. Uh, so that it's, I'm really excited about it. This is big news because now more companies are going to be able to help support Zen Framework. More companies are going to be able to possibly influence it uh, in some way and and help project it forward. Um, and now with this change, there's going to be other things to think about too, right? Um, for instance, the code. The code is, is, is going to change. There's going to be namespace changes. There's going to be vendor name changes that are going to affect uh, down the road. It's going to affect Composer and the way that you installed the various components, things like that. Now, the team building Zen, Zen Framework um, 
as well as Matthew Wirafini uh, being being the lead uh, developer on that team. Uh, they're building migration packages. They're building things that are going to make this easy on the users, easy on the companies. So don't worry uh, when when things are finally launched, because right now they're not launched. Right now it's just announced, right? They've been working on this for a while already, so it's not like they're starting work on it today. They've been working on it now for, for uh, quite a few months. And, but when it comes time to actually implement the changes, um, it's going to be easy for users to do this. So don't worry, your projects that are already using Zen Framework, they're already using Expressive, or if you're using App Agility, these things are going to be made as, as smoothly, the transition is going to be made as smoothly as it can be. Um, it shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem for most folks. Uh, but that being said, it's a very exciting day, uh, exciting day for the framework, exciting day for, for Expressive. Um, as you know, I've been using uh, Expressive in my videos on BeachCast and, and building a sample application. So, so, you know, eventually I'll probably have to, you know, have a video on how to do the change, how to make, how to implement the change uh, between the namespaces and things like that. So watch for that on BeachCast. And, and just know that, uh, you know, things are, are going to take a little while longer. It's still going to take a few more months to get all this implemented, although the team's been working on it. Um, but it's very exciting. I'm going to link down in, the, down in the notes. I'm going to link to the, the various blog posts that have come out for this. I'm going to link to the Linux Foundation announcement as well as uh, Rogue Wave has, has done an announcement. And, um, and I'm also going to be launching some additional videos in the future on BeachCast, um, as well as probably some, some podcasts on, on Run Geek Radio. So you'll want to check those things out and just know that, uh, that you're going to be covered. Everything's going to be fine. This is an exciting thing. It's not a bad thing. It's gonna, it, means, it means great things for the framework. It's going to continue to grow, and we hope that uh, it's going to get much wider adoption and also, you know, many more supporters. So if you have not used Zen Framework in a while, if you have not used Expressive, if you've not used App Agility, I encourage you to go out and check them out. You can go to uh, getexpressive.org. You can go to appagility.com. Um, the Zen Framework uh, site is, has remained the same for the time being. And, um, you know, give them a try. See what they're all about. Because like I said, downloads have been phenomenal for the last couple of years. It's really starting to gain an adoption. So if you've used other frameworks over the last so many years and, and you haven't uh, paid attention to what's going on with Zen Framework or with Expressive, check it out because there's a lot of great stuff out there. So that's all I have for this episode. It's a very short episode, but I just wanted to make sure to get that announcement out there. I may follow up with something else, um, you know, maybe tomorrow or something like that. But but please uh, remember to uh, if if you're watching on Beachcast, subscribe down below. Leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts on this. Uh, is, is this is this transition? Is it going to affect you in any way? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think maybe it's a bad thing? Any pointers that you might have, um, please share them in the comments. I look forward to, to hearing from you. So that's all I have. So take care and have a good evening.